Welcome to Hansford's How To. I'm Lowen Hansford and in this video I'm going to show you how to iron a dress shirt or a blouse. I iron most of my clothes because I prefer the look and the feel of pressed clothing. It packs better into my wardrobe and my drawers and because I prefer fibres which, by nature, wrinkle. Last night I gave my husband the very simple challenge of ironing his shirt. I do appreciate his efforts, he did do his best. Ironing is one of those tasks that is often considered difficult and not worthy of our precious time. Regardless of what you think, looking like you've slept in your clothes is, well, shabby and it just doesn't look good. Our tools of the trade have come a long way since the Chinese used pans filled with hot coals to press clothes. I'm going to show you how to achieve a great finished product using both optimal tools and the equivalent of a pan filled with hot coals. There are only five tools you'll need to iron a shirt. A good steam iron, and if you don't have one, then a cheaper iron and a spray bottle of water is a reasonable substitute. And well, if you're caught without a spray bottle, then dip your fingers into a bowl full of water and spritz like this. An ironing board, and if you don't have one, then a towel or a blanket on a heat resistant surface will be okay as a substitute. You'll need a clean shirt, three to five minutes of your time and a totally can-do attitude. Getting started with ironing is really simple. The first thing you need to do is identify the label that shows you the laundering and ironing instructions. The second thing you'll need to do is adjust the heat setting on your iron to the appropriate temperature. As you can see, the setup for ironing is pretty simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and show my husband Andrew how to iron a shirt and I'm going to take you along with me. It'll be fun! Welcome back. Here we are at home and as I promised you earlier, I'm going to teach you how to iron a shirt. The first thing you'll need before anything else is a clean laundered shirt because any stains will be set with a hot iron. So let's take a quick look at how to iron a shirt. Then we'll do the cuffs, both sleeves. The inside of the cuffs, and then if there are buttons up the cuffs, you're going to go gently up those, not go over the buttons. And when I turn to do the outside of the cuff, I'm not going to go over the buttons. I'm going to go around them. Then the sleeve. So the key to the sleeve is to make sure you've got it really nicely flattened out and all the wrinkles are gone. You only then really have to do one side. It'll make the second side a dream insofar as you just have to very quickly go over it. So do, do take your time to smooth the sleeve out. It's a little bit annoying, but it's uh, worth the effort. Okay, nice flat sleeve and off I go. So when I turn it over now, it's almost done. Just a very quick go over to go over some of the smaller creases. The next part of the shirt that needs to be done is called the yoke. So the yoke is this portion here that holds the collar and the sleeves to the actual shirt. So I'm going to grab under both armpits, shake it out nicely, and then smooth it down. Now if there is a little pleat in the back of the yoke, just fix the pleat up as you would normally see it on the shirt, and you're going to iron over that so the pleat stays in place. So again, flatten it out so there's no uh, additional creases. I've got my little pleat settled down there. And away I go. Now we're going to go to the front. 
And when we go over the buttons, you're not going to iron over the buttons, you're going to iron around the buttons. So this is where you use the tip of your ironing board, the pointy bit, because it fits the shirt, the yoke, and the front of the sleeve over it really nicely, so you can get into all of the little bits that you may have otherwise missed. It's kind of like a little dance that you do with the ironing board when you're doing uh, these little bits. And once I've done that, I can actually flatten it out and use the rest of the ironing board. Now I'm just moving around all the way around the back. Now if you do the yoke and you end up with a crease in it, then just iron it out at this stage here. Almost done. Again, the little dance around the top of the ironing board, just to get the corners done nicely. And around the button. Now the secret to the pocket is, iron from the bottom to the top. So iron upwards with the pocket. And we're done. <clears throat> I think I'd be okay if my husband went out in this. Basically what we're looking to do is to get you to iron a shirt so that it just makes you look like you haven't slept in it. But if you want to be able to walk out of the house in a shirt that looks like it's uh, nice and fresh, this is how you do it. I hope you enjoyed your lesson. Here's what it's like to iron a shirt with a pan full of hot coals. And because it's got a pattern on it here, I am going to use this thin bit of fabric to put over the pattern when I iron it. And because I'm using a cheaper iron and a bench top, I'm going to spritz my shirt with water before I start. Well, we're done, and we do have a wearable shirt, and I'm not lying when I say this is absolutely my most hated shirt for ironing. It is so difficult to iron. But you can see here, it's now in a wearable condition, and this I did using a pan full of hot coals. All right, so I've learned from the master. Now it's my turn. Got our iron, checking the heat. Nice. Pink the shirt. Here we go. So not perfect, but much better. Hey honey, you're looking good. I'm feeling good, and I did it myself. 